for docking. If everything continues to go on schedule today, we expect to see that around 607 Central, 1107 GMT. There aren't any strict requirements to complete docking during a day or night pass, but there's always the chance this hold could continue until the lighting conditions on the docking port are ideal. And once ready, Dragon will begin that final approach. Do autonomous docking all on its own and will not require uh, birthing or that robotic arm from the International Space Station. All hooks open and nominal. And you can see on screen, Dragon Resilient Spacecraft has undocked from the International Space Station at uh, 3.30. Dragon separation confirmed. And what a view to see at 3.30. Dragon spacecraft has undocked from the International Space Station at approximately 3.30 Central Time, uh, just off the coast of West Africa or Liberia. So we had a couple of undocking burns. Uh, the first burn lasted Dragon about... Dragon on the big loop, relocate burn zero, complete and nominal. We had a couple of burns. Uh, the first undocking burn uh, was about a second and a half, and the second burn lasted for about five seconds. And go for the relocation burn zero, that lasted about 21 seconds. Again, we did get confirmation of undocking at 5.30 a.m. Central Time, 10.30 GMT, while the station and Dragon were flying 263 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean uh, to the south. There's a view from Dragon looking and trying to acquire LIDAR from the International Space Station. We're expecting to go straight back about 60 meters. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. We are about to command a hold. Dragon. SpaceX soft capture confirmed. Copy, you see the thing?
soft capture confirmed of Crew-1 aboard SpaceX Crew Dragon Resilience to the International Docking Adapter 3 on the space-facing port of the Harmony module on the International Space Station. That coming at 6.08 a.m. Central Time, 11.08 GMT, while Station and Dragon were flying 261 statute miles in altitude just to the south of Japan.